Hey, welcome to the secret lair of ride trains. This is where all of our electronics are built and tested. Um, most of you are familiar with some of our, our stuff. Uh, for instance, our handheld controller, 10 key, fully integrated. Our motor controller, this one's a 25 amp um, with uh, the Tsunami sound card on it. But I wanted to show you something new today. For those of you that aren't interested in the fully integrated solution, already have a locomotive perhaps, or maybe have mounted an EMD control panel to your riding car, whatever the reason that you want to do it yourself, we have finally developed this little guy right here. So this, uh, this is what you get, pretty small. It's got 10 inputs along with your, your power input and you've got a quarter inch, uh, sorry, eighth inch phono jack that you connect to an amplifier and a speaker. And then your, uh, your 10 pins here go out to all your wiring where you've wired your discrete inputs. I've put it all in this nice little board here just to show you how it works. You'd normally wire this into a control panel. It is a lot of wires. but if you want to uh, do it yourself, this is what you've got to do. So, it takes 12 to 30 volts. I've got a 24 volt DC supply here from a couple of batteries. Let's plug it in. Okay, it'll power on, and you won't get any engine sounds right away. Uh, you need to give it a little throttle. Uh, right now I've got a pot just a little 5k pot hooked up to, uh, to provide it 0 to 5 volts. Uh, you could also use a uh, uh, any, anything that will provide 0 to 5 volts. For instance, this little guy here will go in between your motors and uh, your batteries and actually put out a 0 to 5 volt signal as you go from 0 to 100 amps. Really nice, costs about 15 bucks. Uh, get a hold of me, I can sell these to you if you'd like. So, let's uh, give it a little throttle and start it up, shall we? Okay, not bad. So, the two switches and two buttons over here for programming, you don't need them if you're happy with the way it comes. You can ask me for any kind of setup and I will ship it to you already set up in that configuration so you don't need programming. But if you want to program it, this is a simple way to do it. So let's go over the normal buttons. Uh, horn 2 or H2 input is your normal horn. H1 would be your crossing signal. And of course your bell. Let's say you don't like that horn, you want a different horn. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn P1 on, which is your type. And now we're going to change the type of the horn. We're going to do that by blowing the horn while simultaneously using the up or down buttons. Honestly, you don't even need the down button except for volume because it'll, it'll roll around. Well, let's choose a different horn, shall we? Okay, so what I've done is I've held down the horn button and pressed the up. Didn't seem to change, right? But let's blow the horn again. Okay, we can do that as many times as we want. Every time we hold down the horn button and press the up or down button, it will change the horn. You went past the horn you like, go back down. Okay. Same with the bell. We turn the bell on. Now we can scroll through the types of bells and the speed. We've got a little... All right. Okay, we'll turn program one off, which is the type. The other thing you can do is you can change the prime mover. 
So it sounds like I've got an EMD 567 going on right now. Let's change that. Turn on type. Now without doing the horn or the bell, just press the up button. And then it'll uh, start up again. Looks like we've got an EMD 710 from uh, SD70ACE running now. Let's try a different one. Okay, I'm not sure what this one is. Sounds maybe like a GE. Oh, we gotta turn off the type before we can run the run the speed. Anyway, we can scroll through the various prime movers. There are six of them already programmed on this uh, on this card. Okay, so let me show you the volume. If we turn on P2, which is our volume. Now I can set the volumes of the individual sounds. So let's bring the prime mover down. Okay. We can do the same with the bell. Okay. And we can do the same with the horn. Really just that simple. Um, yeah, these will be available very soon for approximately $200 uh, retail price. So if you need one, get a hold of me. Thanks for watching.